right. That's why our game of the week was an easy choice this week. Austin High hosting Andrus in a district that the Eagles have dominated for quite some time. The Panthers trying to knock them off of that throne and open district play 1-0, oh, Andy. Yeah, Austin is one of the great stories over the course of the last three or four years. Eric Pichardo taking over the program. He has turned Austin into a winner, of course. This is a team that won a playoff game last year, and in the first quarter, Andrus would get on the board first. It's Trayvon Ware with the touchdown, a big back, Ed. Trayvon Ware, man, this is a man-child. And, you know, I played, grew up with his dad, same body, same style, reminds you of a Ron Dane. Austin trying to get something going all night offensively. They could not get it done. This guy can, though. Jeremiah Toski, he can run, he can pass. He is sicker than E. Coley. He always keeps things rolling. Coach, four touchdowns through the air for that young man tonight. I tell you what, he is synced in. He's set to go. Anders has it all. They've got the athletes. They've got the coaches. They've got the system. It's going to be an exciting year for those Eagles. Anders, the winner. 40-7 over Austin High tonight, so they move to 1-0 in district play. Yeah, Stephanie Shields is the fifth member of our team, and she caught up with the winning head coach, Jeff Woodruff, after the game in our coach's spotlight. I'm at our nine overtime game of the week where Andrus just defeated the Austin Panthers 40 to 7. And here with me, I have Andrus head coach Jeff Woodruff to break down the win. Now, coach, tell me, 40 to 7, how were you guys able to come out this victorious tonight? Well, you know, uh, turnovers are a key. Uh, defense got a score for us. That really helped, gave us a good field position. Uh, so getting some stops, defense played lights out. And uh, offense started slow, picked it up in the second half. So uh, we really needed to see some improvement. Of course. And, you know, you guys opened up district play tonight. How do you think this win tonight will set the tone for the rest of district play? Well, anyone that's, you know, undefeated in district play controls their own destiny. And that's our mission is to stay that way. We play Burgess next week. And, you know, they're a great team. They're physical. And, they, you know, they're, they're going to be a, a great challenge. And, you know, you did not let Austin put up any points until the fourth quarter. What do you attribute that to? Well, our defense uh, has a lot of good players, and they play hard. And, uh, that's, you know, our strength right now, and, and we, you know, we just have to continue to build on that. And, you know, any players that just stood out to you tonight? Well, our defensive front. I mean, when we look at the film, uh, linebacker, Liggins, Gustavo, uh, Gallardo, defensive tackle, uh, Brandon Jordan, um, you know, I, I could name about 10 more, but uh, it was really our front that played so strong. Well, of course. Uh, thank you, Coach, and uh, congrats on the win again. Yeah, thank you very much. Of course. That's it for our nine overtime game of the week. Andres coming out on top, 40 to 7 against Austin. Stephanie Shields, back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, Stephanie, and our thanks to uh, Coach Woodruff as well. Ed, a big win for the Andrus Eagles, but how about that? They get Burgess right after that. Really two games setting up back-to-back. -back. They beat Austin. Now they get Burgess. This is a team to beat in that district, as we've seen over the course of the last three or four years. Yeah, you heard Coach Woodruff talk about it. It's controlling your own destiny, and the way you do that is win and win early. The way Andrus' schedule is set up, if they can get through these next two weeks, it's not going to be a cakewalk, but they have some lighter opponents that they're going to face. So uh, for them to come out today, the passing game was on point. Jeremiah Toski threw, a, threw for as many yards. Uh, tonight that he had all season so good job to him as far as Austin coach obviously a, a tough loss to open district play still five games left in district action though where do the Panthers go from here well you know as a coach it's important that you have the mindset for your players you know you you lost the game that you wanted to win however the focus is in making the playoffs knowing that Friday night it's anybody's game because it is a very balanced uh, uh, conference this year division so it's a matter of getting the players right and having a short-term memory get ready to play next week should be interesting and still a lot to get to tonight. 16 games on our schedule. Highlight